Hi you guys, my name is Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys, it is curriculum week for me here on my YouTube channel and I'm so excited to share with you guys my 2024-2025 homeschool curricula picks for my rise in seventh grader, first grader, and pre-kinder uh, kiddos here in my homeschool. So you guys, I am going to start off this curricula week sharing with you guys what I'm going to be using for my pre-kinder uh, daughter and then I will share with you guys my first grader and end off the week with my seventh graders homeschooling curricula picks. I really took a lot of time and energy and thought in picking out all of my kiddos picks for this upcoming homeschool year so i'm really really excited for all of the things we're going to get up to and um you guys let me stop rambling and we're going to go ahead and get on into this thing so first things first i really kept it simple when it came to handwriting I am sticking with the same thing I have done in my homeschool from day one, which has been handwriting without tears. I really, really love handwriting without tears because the systematic approach that they take in teaching correct letter formation. So um, my rise in pre-kinder uh, kiddo, she is going to be in the purple book. Right now we're working through the first book, which is the green book. And I really, really love it, you guys. We're gonna go ahead and utilize our handwriting without tears chalkboard. This is like gold in our homeschool and teaching um, all of my daughters like their uh, correct letter formation with the chalk and the sponge and then we translate it onto paper. So I really loved Handwriting Without Tears, their program. It's simple and I really like the big pages on these. So Handwriting Without Tears. Now, as far as some other things for fine motor skills, we're going to continue using our Kumon cutting book so my kiddo can get better as far as her cutting skills. Um, right now, she is four and halfway through the homeschooling year, she will be five. So somewhere in there, she probably will go ahead and have mastered these scissor skills, but she's a lefty and I really love these Kumon pasting and cutting uh, skills books because you can literally just pull out the pages you wanna use for your kiddos. And this has been so much fun, especially as like little morning starters in our homeschool. So cutting skills from Kumon. Now, as far as math goes, it should be no surprise. We are sticking with uh, kindergarten math with confidence for uh, my rising uh, pre-kinder uh, daughter. Right now, she has already completed preschool math at home. And by the time you are watching this video, we have already started uh, kindergarten math with confidence. You guys, I love this program. I love the games. I love the mental and conceptual math knowledge that the kiddos gain through using this program. Program, I will let you know this program is not easy or gentle. I really feel like it dives deep in the conceptual knowledge with numbers. Uh, do not be fooled by the student workbook and thinking that this curricula is easy and it lacks rigor. Um, I definitely will say all of the meat in the curriculum is in the teacher's guide. It is by doing the games and the mental math exercises. So I really love this program. This is my second time using it. And the cool thing about it is, is that all the prep work that I already did for this program, I don't have to do it anymore since I already have have the math box and everything already ready to go literally we're just diving into this and i'm so excited to do this program yet again i really just i loved uh kindergarten math with confidence so um here we go my second round with this one and i'm really really excited now, as far as phonics goes, we are going to be continuing using elemental phonics. I really love elemental phonics because it's just simple. Uh, the kiddos start off with the blend ladders, and then after the blend ladders, uh, they work on simple CVC words. This is a daily lesson. And I love how simple it is, especially for younger kiddos who do want to seat at the table when it comes to like phonetic instructions and learning how to read. Um, my youngest daughter, she really was beginning to teach herself how to read. So I really had to step in to make sure she was learning things correctly. So um, I just really love Elemental Phonics for its gentle approach. So we're gonna go ahead and continue using Elemental Phonics Level 1. At the end of this school year, we will be halfway completed with this one. So we're just gonna pick this baby back up where we're at. It ends off with the kiddos reading phonetic sentences. So I'm really, really excited about that. So that is where we're gonna be at as far as our phonics instructions. When she completes level one, I have elemental phonics level two here. So I'm going to determine whether I'm going to do level two 
and or if I believe she will be ready to go ahead and start All About Reading Level 1. Now, All About Reading Level 1, you guys, it literally just jumps in. It's like um, the kiddos go straight into reading. And because she is younger, I do enjoy using Elemental Phonics because of its more gentler approach when it comes to teaching the kiddos like CVC words, phonetic sentences. Uh, Elemental Phonics definitely goes a lot slower. So if I find she's ready for All About Reading, we're going to dive into this Level 1 and uh, we're going to just see where it takes her, especially to towards the second half of our homeschooling year. Now, I do have the first set of Bob books. You guys, I really, really enjoy these uh, Bob books. They're so cute. Right now, she's working on the first book. We literally just picked it up the other week, and I couldn't believe she was beginning to read the first Bob book. So we're going to continue to work through this box this upcoming homeschool year, and I'm just going to kind of take it and see where she goes with it. So that is, as far as like her phonics instructions, what I have planned for her this upcoming homeschool year. Now, as far as her um, I'm really excited about this, you guys, because this is a program that I did last year and I'm excited to bring it back into our homeschool, which is a gentle and classical primer. We did gentle and classical preschool for my younger, younger two kiddos last homeschooling year. And this homeschooling year, I definitely will say I miss this. And I'm happy I waited to start the gentle and classical primer because um, she would not have been ready to do this program uh, this school year so I'm really happy I waited and we're gonna have so much fun with this now I definitely will say this book does or this um, level of gentle and classical primer it focuses a lot on like fairy tales folk tales they're gonna be working on like manners and uh, some scripture memory work it's really really cute but what I did do for this program is I am going to be swapping out some of the like fairy tale and folk tale literature so this is the uh, fairy tales and folk tales uh, book that is recommended, which is the classical fairy tales. However, I'm going to be mixing in this book right here, which is called Crown. This is a uh, magical folk and fairy tales. Um, so I'm really, really happy about adding in this book. And it just has like different, um, I guess, adaptations of fairy tales. And you guys, I really enjoy the representation within this book. The illustrations are beautiful. So um, I'm definitely going to be like adding in some literature, some like, I guess, clear, uh, African American fairy tales and folk tales within this curricula for uh, my younger kiddo. And I'm really excited about that. We're also going to be reading Peter Rabbit, which is a classic too, with the gentle and classical primer. Now, because this homeschooling year, I definitely will say we for as far as like reading and literature, we primarily just went to the library and I was just picking out like random things. But this upcoming homeschool year, I really wanted to make sure and ensure I was reading books to my younger two. And I wanted to make sure that um, I kind of was following some type of a schedule. I wanted something to be laid out as far as the literature reading where we're going to be doing. So you guys, as far as literature for both of my younger two kiddos, we're going to be doing Melanated Tales. And pretty much this Melanated Tales is from the Heritage Mom blog. And we're pretty much going to be reading again more like fairy tales and folk tales stories. Uh, we're going to be using the Black Mother Goose. We're going to be reading uh, Nelson Mandela's African Folk Tales. And then the last book we're going to be using is Her Stories, which is, again, um, African-American folk tales, fairy tales, and true tales. So as you guys can tell, this homeschooling year, I'm definitely focusing on, like, those fairy tales and folk tales, like all of those type of stories, uh, I want to make sure my kiddos, they know. And that's really the fun part about this age is really reading to them. So that's really my primary focus. And that's why I have so much literature that I do want to read to um, both of my younger two kiddos because my rising first grader will be joining my pre-kinder in Melanated Tales and Gentle and Classical Primer this homeschooling year. Now, I do also have the kindergarten morning binder and also the preschooling um, morning binder that I can use on my dry erase sheets as far as like their morning folder, calendar time, letter formation, different things like that. I do have this um, 
I guess to my access if I want to pull these out and put them in some dry erase sleeves as far as like morning work and things like that. Um, I have utilized these this homeschooling year, not as much as I thought I was going to, but I did pull them out every now and then, especially when we had like concepts that matched within like their math or phonics curricula. So I do have that on hand just in case I do want to use it. So you guys, these are my pre-kinders homeschool curricula picks for the 2024-2025 homeschooling year. If you guys want to see anything in detail, please let me know. I will make flip-throughs of any pieces of curricula you want to see or know more about. Just let me know. I'm so excited for this kiddo. She definitely is going to have a seat at the table and hopefully she's not crying anymore <laughs> because she doesn't have enough one-on-one -on -one time with mommy. As always, thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing everybody in my next one. Bye.